DIY.com. Usually in my videos, I'm showing you how to fix things around the house. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to do a few things like that, such as looking for leaks and so forth around your windows and your house and areas I bet you thought you'd never check. I got this tool from Black & Decker. It's called the TLD100. It is actually such a cool tool. I had to make this video to show you. What it is, it a, uses a laser and detects the temperature. But what's really cool, because of course, you know, they have those and they've had those for a while. But Black & Decker came out with this one. They actually, it's just so cool I had to make this video. Check this out. You point it to an area that you're looking for the temperature. In this case, we're going to use the door. You point, you turn it on. It's going to give you a reference point. In this case, we have 64.4 and it's moving around. In the front of it, we have a selector from either one degree. So if the temperature changes within one degree, hotter or colder, well, this light that you see here is going to change from a blue, just meaning it got, it got colder by one degree, or red, and which means it got colder by one degree, or using the selector on here, either one degree, five degree, or ten degrees. Well, one degree is pretty sensitive, as you can imagine. Uh, so I'm just going to reset the tool. I'm going to hit the, I guess, just the door here. Uh, actually, you know, yeah, I'll try just the door. If we point to it, it's a green light. We have our temperatures. But what I'm concerned is, now with the door itself leaking, that's pretty unlikely, but around the door. Just bro oh, look at that. See how I move this to where the, the, the crack is for this? Well, look at that. Look how that turned to blue. Well, it turned to blue. Of course, I can look at it here. We started at 64.7 degrees, but right there, on that jam is 61 degrees. Moving 62, and you just go right down the whole line, right where you can obviously tell we need a seal. Look at that, it's all blue, 59 degrees down there. Goes up, now of course heat rises, so it may even get a little bit warmer up here. Right, staying blue all the way around. Go around. Now, oh, look at that, back to the same temperature of the door. So we're not so bad there. So obviously, we know with this door, we need a seal right here. Now this door just so happens to be a door down to an unheated cold basement. Because of course, that cold air is going to want to come up. But we're in the house and we're nice and warm, so we may not always feel it as much. But believe me, the thermostat, that's about two feet on the other side here, that feels it. So of course, it's going to make the heat go on. So for a seal that's maybe four or five dollars maybe, I would uh, definitely invest on putting that seal. This tool is so cool. We're going to go around this house and we're going to see what else we can find that can teach you how to save some money, some big money. Another big tip. Anybody that has a microwave hung up on the wall with a vent that blows out, well, let me tell you, nice and warm in the house, pretty comfortable right here. And we're just going to turn this on, get our reference, hit our kitchen cabinet here, 60. Three degrees temperature in the house is like 65, so that's good. But look at this microwave. And the house is not all that old, and it vents to the outside, you know, with the fans underneath. Now, let's open this thing up. Put this right in there. Look at that. I went from 63 degrees to 42 degrees. Wow, that's cold. Nice big gaping hole going through. Let me go outside and show you how maybe how we can fix that. Hey, on that microwave. When I had that fan was blowing all your uh, all your cooking smoke outside, well, it comes down to out to one of these things here. Well, they're not very well insulated at all, and actually, it's just a piece of piece of tin. Now, I'll put my black and decker thermal detector on there, and what do we got? Oh yeah, we got some temperatures. Well, you see, look at the wind just blew and it opened that flap up. Where do you think all that cold air just went to? Wow! And hit the house. Look at that, you guys. You can see that on the video here. It's uh, about four degrees out here. So I'm going inside because it's too cold. I need to check. Is that on the floor where the floor meets the wall down at your base? Again, get a reference, turn it on, and just go along and see what you got. See what happens. You know, now again, it's something you like to check. Not every house is open. a little bit warmer there. Might be a uh, heat pipe down in the air. Actually, I actually think the boiler's down in this area. Go around. Turn. Blow it air a little bit, see that? So now, with this we can get closer to it and try to pinpoint what's going on. That's pretty cool. Really like this tool. 
that. So basically, in this whole area here, we got uh, we got something going on. So another good thing to check. There's another one for you. Outlets are a great way for air to start leaking through. Now, believe it or not, you can buy the, like those little baby safety plugs that you put in there so the babies don't put their fingers in there and get electrocuted. Believe it or not, putting those in really do help. But again, now this is an, an exterior wall, and the house is pretty well insulated. It was only built a couple years ago. But what happens, you have the electrical box here, and the insulation is going behind it and around it, and it's really only, I mean, uh, really, it's only about two inches thick there, so it's really not enough. What you can do is just take off the cover, and they have these little, uh, little, foam, uh, uh, little foam pieces made for the outlets that help seal that up. And you put those little baby plugs in there, I tell you, you'd be quite surprised. Now, with this Black & Decker thermal protector, again, I'm only about a foot away, so I want to really see. And we have, ooh, a little bit one right there. Or was it? All right. We'll go around. A little bit warmer from where we started. A little colder. Look at that. Now that changed from where we started. Three degree difference. Move away from it. Green. Back to it. Blue. Away from it. Green. Look at that. I mean, not for nothing. That's self-explanatory. So definitely, uh, we can't. We don't want to start opening the wall up and packing it with insulation, which really may not do that well because you can only put so much in. But by putting when I'm foam little ceiling uh, ceiling plates around here, and those plugs would really help out on all the exterior walls. Don't bother doing an interior wall; it'd be kind of senseless. Check this out. What I did, I set up like a little experiment just to show you guys how cool this tool is. I got a glass of cold water, a glass with just regular uh, tap water uh, out of the hot faucet, so it's you know it's pretty warm. And of course, our table. Now the table, we're gonna get a reference point. Just turn turn the unit on, and I'll get too close to the right one here. So it's green, which gives our our reference. I'm gonna go put it right into the hot water here. It's, look at that. Turn red, back to the to the cold blue, red, blue, red, blue, and back to our table, which gives us our reference of what we started at. Really cool. So I mean, the whole time, I don't even have to look at the temperatures on this thing. I just, just look and see what's going on. Oh, it's red. So the red, obviously, it means that it's hotter, or warmer rather, than the reference point that I started at, and when I went to the the cold glass with the ice, that told me it was colder by the color blue, colder than the reference point, the point that I started at. Well, I tell you, I like this tool a lot. I'll be using it for a long time. Hey guys, well, I hope you learned a few things how to use this really cool tool all places around the house. Another area for you to check is your, your any ceiling box that you have, especially the high hats. If you have a high hat, it's on the, the final level of your house, meaning or there's, you don't only have an attic up there with the roof. It's a great way to check for those. Any kind, of, any boxes, any pipes going through. Definitely, you can check it with this tool and see what the temperature is. If it's colder, definitely got to put some insulation in here. Lots of different ways to correct it. Uh, go to my website if you're not already on it, and uh, and I'll I'll show you different methods you can do. Uh, under this video on my website, uh, I'm going to put a link on there to show you. Where you buy this tool, Amazon.com is one, one of the places. Of course, I don't endorse Amazon. I'm not part of Amazon. Um, but it's, it's there. You can go buy it. Anyway, I'm Dominic from XBDIY.com. Thanks for watching.